Hi, I'm Hayley Solich from The Creaticians and I'm very excited to be supporting the International Gynae Awareness Day initiative. What is the International Gynae Day Awareness Initiative? It was started by Kath Mazella, a gynaecological cancer survivor who has had an amazing journey. She's been awarded an Order of Australia Medal for all of her work over the last 10 years helping to, to get the message out there to be more aware of what can affect you as a woman in your gynaecological health. And the day is all about getting together doctors, community people, medical professionals to come together around the table and to talk about gynaecological issues. For too many years it's been a case of, shh, don't talk about it. And while we've been uh, giving into this shroud of secrecy that surrounds gynaecological issues, we have been missing out on the opportunity of embracing, of caring for, of supporting and loving the women in our community who really are victims of their own bodies. I mean, think about it. What woman invites willingly into her life a gynaecological condition? What woman decides, I want endometriosis, I want to have pain and suffering so excruciating that there's no drug that can touch it in my life? What woman decides, I want to have a HPV virus that's going to cause cervical cancer or vulva cancer? What woman decides, I want to have a, a, a ectopic pregnancy? What woman decides, I want to have periods that don't ever stop? that just continually bleed and bleed and bleed. No woman decides to have these. Yet, millions of women in their lifetime across the world will suffer from some kind of a gynaecological condition or complication. And they need our support. So on the 10th of September, we're gonna get out in force. We're calling all women and all men around the world to stand up and to say, women, we love and support you. Women, we're going to break down this shroud of secrecy that has kept you veiled and in a corner and without support and without love and care. And we're going to embrace you and we're going to bring this issue out into the awareness of the public. And what we're asking you to do is to get your girlfriends, to get your male friends and bring them together around the table and to start to talk about the issues that affect women's bodies. Start to talk about these things. Start to describe to one another how it could be different. And, you know, we can be the agents of change that can break down this whole shame thing for women. It's also an opportunity for medical professionals to come and to share their knowledge and also to hear back from consumers about their experiences. How does a young woman feel going into a doctor's office for her very first pap smear? How can a doctor make that whole process easier for her? How can he help her to not feel quite so embarrassed or she help her to not feel quite so embarrassed? Because unfortunately, that young woman, if she doesn't, could be at risk. So we want to help to make our, our women in the community aware of how they can protect themselves against sexual disease, how they can help themselves if they find themselves in a situation where they're starting to exhibit some of the symptoms. We want to help them to know who they can turn to, who they can talk to when they're going to work and they've got a gynaecological issue and it's painful and they're feeling embarrassed and they can't sit down. I mean, yeah, this was Kat's experience. She had her gynaecological a surgery and went to work and couldn't sit. Do you think that the people around her understood that? Do you think that they were compassionate about that? No, because it was all shrouded in a cloud of secrecy. It's up to you and it's up to me. We can break that cloud. We can make it better for the women in our world. Join us. Make an event happen in your area. You can go online and you can find out from the gynaeday.com website exactly how you can get involved. I invite you, stand up and be counted on this issue. Join with those millions of women that are suffering and let them know that you care.